Let, so here we go. I have to. No. So it is Tuesday, January 10th, and we're going through science um, lesson 5.04, electrical energy. We're just going to kind of skim through it, and you're not doing the assignment for it, but you still need to learn the information. So I'm going to share my screen and have you guys read the lesson to me, taking turns reading the lesson. So here it is, 504, electrical energy. Let's have Sasha start and read this first bit about electrical energy, please. What's more fun than twinkle lights? Well, how about 1.2 million twinkle lights in the city of- Canberra, Canberra Australia. Canberra, Australia, that, that many lights were displayed and broke the world record. The string lights totaled over 75 million miles, ma 75 miles long and were on impressive. impressive display of electric energy. Okay, so let's look at them. Here they are, this one family strung up all these lights at their house. With exactly a month to go before the big day, a family from Australia lift the world record for the most amount of Christmas lights. Congratulations. It's a new Guinness world record. Thank you. <laughs> In scenes that would put most of our strings of half-broken fairy lights to shame, the Richards family from Canberra have put up a staggering 502,165 lights. Quite the electricity bill then. It's about <laughs> another $2,500 per month for the month of December in power. And as you can imagine, with more than half a million lights, it wasn't done in an afternoon. It took me um, quite a while to, to set it up. I started in October. I took a week off in October school holidays and then have worked every weekend since. And judging by the reaction from friends and neighbours, it's been worth it. <laughs> so, how about that? Do you think your family should try and break that world record? I know, I don't have that much light. It's Well, it's, did you hear how much more in the electrical bill it was? It was like $2,000 more a month to have that many lights. Here's more pictures. I found that... I think it, I think that electrical bill must be through the roof. Crazy. It must be like. Uh, like let me see here. I gotta I gotta make. Um, I know I'm my co-host again. I think because he got kicked out of the meeting, so I'm guessing he's not co-host anymore. Okay. There's so, two kinos. Are there two kinos? Well, the first one got kicked out, so the second one's. Yeah, I got kicked out the first one. All right, powering twinkle lights, electric cars, smartphones, and any other electronic you can think of, electrical energy isn't going away anytime soon. What will I learn from this lesson? How to investigate electrical energy, recognize scientific investigations do not always follow the scientific method, and use evidence to support my understanding. Oops, come on, there you go. It's electrifying. Observe the four pictures. What form of energy is being used in each picture? Uh, duh, the same one. The first picture is of power lines. You may see these around your neighborhood. Electrical energy flows through them. You guys know that it's very unsafe if you ever see one down to touch a power line. Did you know that? They pack so much power that if you were to touch one, they can kill you. So please, if you ever see a broken line or a line hanging down or sparking, stay away. The other things that electricity th flows through are your cell phone, your electric car. Does anybody have an electric car that plugs in? Nobody? Yeah. Electrical energy. Okay, let's have, um, let's see who can read next. Liam, can you read this part? Electrical energy. Electrical energy is the movement of flow of an energy current through a material. The material is called conductors. Not all material to materials are conductors, which means not all materials are capable cap capable of holding electricity, electrical energy. Keep going. Oh. In this next activity, we are going to investigate some sources of electrical energy. Did you know that not all scientific investigations follow the full scientific method any every time. Sometimes an investigation is supposed to make observations. Sometimes there are var variables and control groups and investigate scientific questions. Right now, let's make these ob observations in the, que the question. 
to investigate the question, where is electrical energy found in this house? The family that lives here uses a lot of electricity. Set, select each marker to investigate how electrical energy is being used. Okay, and you're supposed to click on them and it says home office. Think about your house right now. Looking around your room right now, where do you guys see energy being used? Kainoa, where do you see some electrical energy being used? Tell me one place. On the computer. Christian, tell me one place you see electrical energy being used in your room. My light. Your light, yep. Uh, Bree, tell me one place you see electrical energy being used in your room. The outlet. Your outlet, yep. How about in my room? Do you guys see uh, electrical energy used behind me? Oh, yeah, with my twinkle lights. <laughs> okay. I always wonder why do you have those? You know, I just have them because they're kind of fun. That's why. Sometimes you just have to do things because they're fun. Shocking uses of electrical energy. Now that you know a little about what electrical energy is and where it may be hiding out in your house, let's practice describing how it is used. Let's do a search on some of the things that use electrical energy and find out how they use it. Select an object, then select search to see how it uses electricity. Uh, let's do a power line because that's kind of interesting. Power lines and wires do not really use electrical energy. Instead, they allow electrical energy to move from one place to another. Think about how pipes use water. They do not really use it. They simply provide a path for water to follow. Power lines and wires do the same thing for electricity. Let's see how an electric car uses it. Uh, oh yeah, we have to start over. I don't like those. Let's keep going. You've covered a lot of examples of objects and devices that use electrical energy. Come up with three new examples. We already did that and describe them in your science notebook. Explain how these examples use electrical energy. How do you know? Why is it important to use evidence to support your explanation? I'm gonna show you something that uses electrical energy right now. I think I've shown you before. This little ball has two things on the bottom. If I touch one of them, it starts to make a circuit. But if I complete the circuit, my little ball uses electricity. But wait, there's no plug-in, there's no battery. Where is the electrical energy coming from? You. Right, I have electrical energy in you. And also I think they have a little battery hidden in here because it can run out of batteries. So tricking you. Okay, uh, did you know static shock electricity can transfer from one object to another? Have you ever had your hair stick straight yep, up? Yeah, 100%, yep, especially blue. You know, in the winter, especially when it's dry and cold, there's more static electricity. And usually if you rub your feet on the carpet, how many people have carpet under them right now? Anybody? And then you touch something, you can get a little shock. So stand up, rub your feet. Cats are really electric. So if you have a cat and you do this, you rub your feet and then you touch your cat. Oh, I'm not getting anything. Try to touch, yeah. try to touch your computer screen. Oh, didn't do it. Try to touch your brother. <laughs> I don't think you can shock yourself. Static electricity is the build up. I don't know how I did it, but when I, I used, when I slide it, I kind of get like a static and it hurts. Yeah, you build it up. It's the buildup of electrical charges on objects and it's created when two objects run against one another. I'll bring a balloon and we can rub it on our hair on Thursday. When one charged object touches another, electrons flow between them, creating static discharge, which causes a static shock of electricity. Woo, and sometimes it can be kind of hard, huh? Have you ever been shocked by somebody who touches you with static electricity? It kind of hurts. Yeah, it can kind of hurt. No, it hurts a lot. It, I, I got taught. Um, my brother touched my finger, uh, like my brother touched my finger and I, I just got a shock all the way through my hand and it really hurt. Did you say that? You hurt my finger, Charlie. Have you ever seen that video? Charlie, you bit my finger. Have you seen that one? It's hilarious. It's a very famous video. I'll show it to you at the end if you want. Self-check review. It's shocking how much we use electrical energy every day. How many of your parents tell you to turn off lights and save electricity? Save a fish. Have you ever have been told to save a fish or save a tree? Because we, we burn things for electricity and we also use um, hydropower for electricity. So when you don't use as much electricity, you're kind of helping the environment. Let's keep those sparks flying in a review of what we've covered so far. Take 
these objects and describe what you know about how they're using electricity. Here we have one plugged into the wall. It's using the electricity. The fan comes in yeah. through the outlet. Then here we have an electrical energy that comes from the batteries in the car, has a small motor that turns this energy into mechanical energy, which causes the wheels to run. How about a light bulb? The electrical energy comes in through the socket and into the bulb. Sometimes called the filament, it glows red hot, releasing heat and light energy. And finally, the radio. The electrical energy from the car's battery powers the radio and the speakers in the car. The speakers convert the electrical energy into, what do speakers put the energy out of? Sound. Sound energy. So they transform it from electrical to sound. Using electrical energy, where does all this power come from? With today's technology, we're able to harness a number of different sources of energy. Let's take a look at some of the objects that use energy and the sources of power. Here are a few examples of devices that use electrical energy. How do you know that each of these devices uses electrical energy? Hmm. So a tablet, how do you know that uses energy? Anybody? How would you know that a tablet uses energy? Button. When you charge it? Yeah, you charge it, right? You have to plug it in or it goes dead on you. How about a TV? How do you know it uses power? Using the when it turns on, uh, when you, you plug it into you the- You have to plug it in, in, right? Blender also has to be plugged in. How do you know a stove uses energy and where is it energy you, coming from? I think you also have to plug a stove in. Well, it is plugged in and actually you can't see it at your house, but if you look at my house, you can look under the cupboard and see where it's plugged into the wall. That's pretty cool. Can you imagine a world with no electrical energy? It may not be as impossible as you think. Consider how long people lived without it. Let's take a look at some situations both with and without electrical energy to see how they compare. Did anybody's lights go out during the break? Did anybody lose, lose power? Yep, I did. Did that you was... survive? I survived. Well, it only went for like 10. No, well, I, 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 I had to wait. Five like, five five hours. Hours. I had to wait a six or nine hours. And I, 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 I was lucky to four. Is your house get cold? I didn't, I didn't. I, I almost died. I I I, I couldn't survive. I almost well, died. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't lose power. It was like perfect. You know, last, a couple of moment. winters ago, power went out for a long time, and my friend didn't have any power in her house for about two weeks. And so she would go over to her neighbor's house, and she would boil pots of water and bring them to her house, and then they would give off their heat, transfer their energy into the house to warm it. It's pretty crazy. Here oh, yeah, here. because it wasn't like last last winter. We it was had a couple it. of years ago. Here are two ways a family can enjoy quality time together. Does this use any electrical energy? No. Nope. nope. Does this one? Yes. Yes. 100%. <laughs> Here's a toaster with and without electrical energy. What's the difference? Ew, one's moldy. No, it's not moldy. It's whole wheat, but it's not toasted, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know lightning is an electrical charge? Did you know that? Yes, yeah. of yeah. course we know that. Yeah. During a thunderstorm, electrical charges build up in the thunder clouds. When they become strong enough, these electrical charges create a large bolt of lightning. When you hear thunder, that is the sound energy that was made by the lightning. It's important to stay safe during thunderstorms. Yes, Kainoa? If uh, uh, if uh, lightning has a uh, energy, how come when if it strikes my uh, our house, our power would go out? Because of the electrical energy, it, it disrupts the energy. So it actually is too much energy, and it blows something called a fuse. Have you ever heard of a fuse? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You have little things in your house that protect your because. It used to be, um, and in fact, some of us have a special plug-in for our computers that keep them safe in case of a power surge. So the power comes in at a certain power. If it comes in at too much, it burns up. A couple of years ago at school, we had these little battery packs that we were using with our micro bits. And Ms. Laws accidentally got the too big a power back pack and the um, little robots we made all started smoking and catching on fire <laughs> in class. <laughs> Oops. Well, it looks like someone caused a fire. <laughs> Where does electrical energy come from? Earth contains an unbelievable amount of energy. Mechanical energy can be found in rushing water and in wind. 
Heat energy can be made by burning fuel or found in the hot layers beneath the Earth's surface. Light energy is constantly pouring down from the sun. What types of energy can be used to create electrical energy? What's this one? That's a dam. I, you can I, see I the water. This is water coming through it. And as the water passes through, it turns turbines around really fast. You can go look at dams on the Columbia River. Where does all this electrical energy come from? Here's some sources. What is that? Here's fossil fuels. That's like, this is how they pump oil out of the ground, coal and oil. They're called fossil fuels because they're made from the dead bodies of dinosaurs and animals and plants that lived a long time ago. Yeah. Wind energy, who's ever seen one of these when you're out driving? Me. Did you know that those, the blades on that are the size of an airplane blade, uh, wing? They're huge. They're really that big? Yeah. I thought they were like so small, like super sick. Because they, they're far away, silly. Uh, water, that's the dam. And then solar. Oh, uh, you, who's, who has solar panels on their house? Anybody? Um, this, my neighbor has. Really? Like, cool. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know where your electrical energy comes from at your house? If not, do a little research to find out. So I have, I have electrical energy coming through the wires, but I've also got natural gas that comes through pipes and it's in the pipe and it comes into my house and it burns on my stove. I, I, don't, have, a, I don't have solar energy at my house. I think there's like a power box outside that's Power. And a lot of our electricity here is caused by uh, hydropower. So it they they get it from the water and then they make it into electricity because we have a lot of water here, don't we? Yeah. Did, you not use, did you know not to use electricity near water? Yeah. yeah. Even having wet feet when using electricity is a bad idea. Button. Wait, so like if you like... audio all day, list item, list. <laughs> Go ahead, Eli. So like if you, what, had wet feet and then touched something, you could get a shock. Never touch exposed wires. The cords and plugs of different devices are covered in rubber or plastic, which protects against shocks because they're not conductors. If the wires inside are showing, like if your electrical cord is broken, don't touch it. Don't put anything in electrical sockets except plugs, especially not like screwdrivers or forks or you'll get shocked. Turn devices off when you're not using them. Not only will it save electricity, but it'll also help prevent the device from overheating. And if you have little kids at your house, that's why sometimes you plug things into the outlet so that they can't stick something metal in there. Because little kids like to try to kill themselves. I don't know why. Lesson summary. Ooh, electrical energy is the movement or flow of electricity through wires and devices. These devices like toasters, smartphones, speakers transform electrical energy into other useful forms of energy like light and sound and heat. Electrical energy can be produced from different sources um, like wind, water, or sun. And then it talks about how it changes our lives. And you're supposed to take a little quiz. Let's see if we can get it right. Norman is woken each morning by his alarm clock. His alarm clock changes electrical energy into what type of energy? Sound. Sound. Bum, 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 bum. Next, how come it won't tell us the answer? Sound, oh, submit. There we go. Okay. Next, each of these objects transforms electrical energy into another form of energy. Sort them. Which one is light? Light bulb. The, bu the light bulb. Uh, which one's sound? The, the keyboard, the speaker, and the tablet? I don't think so. Which one's mechanical? The tablet, the, tablet, the fan, and the train. Uh, train! Susie, train! I don't know what we do with the tablet. Do you, it's not, it's light. It gives light, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah it has light. Right? It, it, it has Let's sound. It. You got it. <laughs> I know tablets have light, they have sound. Is that my phone? Oh, Match. Some some energy just transformed into sound energy. And I need to pull it because it's just my daughter calling. Okay. Heat, uh, All right, let's see here. Match each energy source to the type of energy that is captured and turned into electrical energy. So I don't quite understand this one, do you? 
solar hydro. So solar power makes heat. Captures what? It captures light oh. or heat. I don't really understand this one. Oh, light, light. It goes light. It goes down. Yeah. Hydro moves that thing. So I think it's mechanical. And then you burn fossil fuels and it makes heat. Great job. Okay, got it. Uh, I don't want to restart. Thank you very much. And finally, they said, what's my assignment? Do the activity sheet. We're not going to do it. Let's look at it though. Because I am going to have you guys do this end of chapter test, but not as a graded test, just as practice. Think of all the activities you do in a day that involve electrical energy. Use the sheet to make a list of five to eight activities. Describe how electrical energy is used in each case. When you're done, consider which ones you could do without to save electricity. <laughs> and you know, I lived in Africa where they didn't have any electricity. My, my village had no electricity. So I lived for two years with no electricity. And it was kind of lovely, like in the evening, the light was so pretty burning the um, the fuel. Uh, so chemical energy. Wait, oh, wait, they, uh, back in the day, they did have like kind of, cause they would just get a, they would make candles. They had and heat, they so they have. had heat energy, but they didn't have electrical energy yet. So oh yeah, you're right. In some countries of the world, they still don't have a lot of electrical energy. They don't have wires that transform like they do in the capital, but not out in the villages. So it's kind of different, huh? So it's real quiet at night and really dark, which is nice, actually. All right, you guys, you don't have to do anything for that science lesson, but now you know all that stuff about electrical energy. And I'll bring a balloon so we can do some static electricity experiments if you come to the in-person on Thursday. Can you pop a balloon if you like have enough electrical energy inside of your hand? I don't know, that's a great question. Why don't you experiment? Hmm. All right. See you later, alligators. That's it for today. But we have our book club at 2.30 with the Reading Warrior. Can you make, can you make uh, breakout rooms for us? I will make breakout rooms. And can I have my Reading Warlords go to room one, please? Uh, Miss Laws, I, I, I didn't read to chapter 10. Well, then read right now and see again. Eli, you just told me you were all caught up. You mess around with your friends, but you're not getting your room done. So please, um, if you're in the book club, go to room one. Okay. Yeah. So Christian and Eli, and I will write the other boys. Amadi was here, but now he's not, is he? He must have taken off. I will write to him because he was here a second ago. Amadi's in my book club. Oh, wrong book club. Oh, sorry. So Christian, Javier, and uh, Christian, Javier, and Eli. So I'll write to Javier right now let's see here javier Um, let's see here. Huh? 